Hi, Flossu. Hello, Flossu. I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this just, just keeps keep stitching. Episode 337. I think. I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 337. Happy Easter. <laughs> Why are we talking like that? I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, that's Happy Easter, that. everybody. Woo! Happy Woo. Easter. We just wanted that to be the first thing you saw, you know? Cause yeah. Hopefully that's the screenshot. If not, we'll make it the screenshot. I was going to say, we're going to make it the screenshot uh, after all that. This is sharp plastic. The OGs will remember when we first wore those. Yeah, yeah. Every so often. Probably five um, years ago, I think. Our recording day is Sunday, if you don't know. Hi! <laughs> this is a, a YouTube channel about cross stitch. Yep. Um, every so often, our recording day falls on Easter. Every so often. Well, it always is on Easter. It's all, we always record on Sunday, so, and Easter is always on Sunday. So we always make a video on Easter. Oh, I guess that's true. What was I thinking? I think you were thinking of like a holiday like Christmas, which might not necessarily be on a Sunday. Well, anyway... We haven't worn the bunny faces in a minute. Yeah, so. they're, from, they're from our friend Carlton up at Craft Gallery, whom we yep. dearly love yep. and hope... To see very soon, yeah, because we have some uh, important uh, items business to uh, take care of yes. up in Finley, Ohio. We do. Anyway, uh, hope you are having have had. Uh, I don't know if anybody would still be looking forward to a nice Easter. Yeah, um, and uh, for those that celebrate, for those that celebrate. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. So it's a bright, sunny, natural light kind of day yep. here in the great room at uh, Chapel Lane. So uh, let's get to it. Yep, absolutely. Um, okay, so a little bit of business first. Gotta get the business out of the way. Yes. So I can sit here and confidently tell you, uh, wait, first I should say, we live in Southwest Ohio. Mm -hmm. The local needle workshop here is Keepsakes. I work for Keepsakes. Um, and so every so often I share updates about what's happening at Keepsakes. So, um, because I realize that a lot of our viewers are customers of Keepsakes because we love that. Um, and so as of today, Sunday, March 31st, March 31st mm -hmm. There are a grand total of three open orders on the Keepsakes web shop. Yippee! Unfulfilled. And all of those people have been contacted that we're waiting for them to call us back because they have market stuff that goes with it. So, yeah. Um, so everyone's order went out before April 1st. Look at that. So, look at that. I feel very, very good about that. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. um, even if you place an order like last week, it went out. Yeah. So um, we are up to speed. I love this so much for us. So a huge thank you to everyone who pre-ordered when Cardinals appear. Um, and either whether you got fabric and threads or just a chart or whatever you did, um, we appreciate it. We'd love it. Um, as weird as it might sound, shipping is probably my favorite part of my job. And so, um, I just really, really, really enjoy it. I love seeing where all the things are going. I know what it's like to get stitchy mail and I know what it's like to open it and just be like, very excited. So I love being able to give that opportunity to others. And so thank you so much for that. So, um, so now it is full steam ahead on all things StitchCon. So, um, the biggest con situation update that I have for you is that, um, not tomorrow, not Monday, April 1st, but the second week of April is going to be the first spirit wear sale. Okay. Right. So we typically will do three week-ish long stitch con spirit wear sales prior to the event. Right. And based on demand sometimes we do one after sometimes we don't so uh yeah two possibly three no we will do three before stitch con oh we will yes oh yeah i thought the third was after no okay so sorry no it's okay so there's going to be one the second week of april the fourth week of april and the first week of may okay so the first two will be shipped directly to you the third 
will be shipped to keepsakes and then you can pick it up at the event. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're using the same spiritware vendor that we've used in years past. Um, we have a great relationship with them that we've built over, you know, five plus years. Um, and Barbara really likes working with him and so do I, and, and the team does. And so, um, so that's who we're going with. Mm -hmm. So my biggest recommendation, and of course I will talk about this next week as the eve of the sale, but what is available is available. So like the, whether it's t-shirts, hoodies, jackets, whatever it may be, there is a possibility that what is available will change between sales. Mm -hmm. So um, if there's something that you see that you like, we always recommend that you get it because I, we cannot guarantee that it will be right. on the second or third sale. Very important. Okay. I will say that there is typically always a t-shirt option. Oh, yeah. And uh, usually a hoodie option. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Um, Besides other stuff. Correct. So, um, the links for the Spiritwear sale will be posted in the StitchCon Facebook page, which is for paid attendees only. And then, um, also the link will be posted on the StitchCon website. Yeah. So, uh, and we'll be posting on our social medias about it as well, like on the Keepsakes social medias. So, just keep an eye out for that. Um... And I think that that is, yeah, that's the, the biggest StitchCon update as of right now. That's, yep, yep. yep. So, okay. okay. That is all of the business. Okay. And also, I know it is Easter, okay? And is this what they call Holy Week? No, Holy Week precedes Easter. Right, that's what I mean. The week before leading up to Easter is Holy Week, yeah. yes. Yes. It's also opening week. As in opening day. Yes. So As in baseball. And it's it, back. It, it is basically my second Christmas. Yes. It's very exciting. My man is back in play. We are big Red Sox fans here at our house. Yes. So, yes. You, if you're a Yankees fan, unsubscribe. I'm just no. kidding. <laughs> just, kidding. <laughs> just kidding. It's all love. Okay? It's all love. It's all love. Unless we're like at a game, then it's not love. <laughs> but in cross stitch, it's all love. So, if you are a baseball fanatic like us, right? happy baseball season to you. Happy baseball season. Play Best ball. Season of the year. Yeah. So, and the Red Sox are coming to Cincy this year. So, we're going to all three games. It also happens to be over Pam's birthday. So, yeah. it's going to be... The best weekend ever. It's going to be oh right boy. after StitchCon. So what a oh celebration boy. it will be. It will be big. Big, big, big. Yes, yes, yes. So. All right. Uh, let's do a hashtag. Let's do a hashtag. Okay. So our hashtag here at Just Keep Stitching is hashtag Stitch Harmony. It is our attempt at connecting stitchers together. So if you are someone who um, does not have a stitching friend that lives within driving distance to you um, and you've tried a bunch of different ways to try and find someone and you just can't and you would like us to tap into our audience and see if we have someone that's watching that lives in your area, uh, then we're happy to do that. Yeah. So we just ask you to comment on the video, uh, use the hashtag Stitch Harmony and tell us your name and where you live and then um, we'll sh pick one of, one of those comments every week and share them with you. So, Absolutely. Please. And um, before I uh, mention who our Stitch Harmony commenter is, okay. I will uh, say thank you very much to everybody who posted their Stitch yes. Harmony yep. uh, success stories yes, after our that. last video. We, love um, that. we threw that out if you wanted to uh, make that public. Um, and we heard from some lovely, lovely folks. So if you, at any point you're wondering, does that really work? Uh, mm. Go back to number... 336 and read the comments. Yes. There are several. Absolutely. Yeah. But this week's Stitch Harmony commenter is a lovely gal named Nicole. Hi, Nicole. Hello, Nicole. And this is what she wrote. Hashtag Stitch Harmony. Hi, Pam and Steph. My name is Nicole and I have been dragging my feet on reaching out to find some stitchy friends. I live in New Tampa, Florida. So is this, there's, I, I'll look it up. The northeast area of Tampa near Pebble Creek. Okay. Keepsakes is currently my LNS. I love this friend. As I'm not sure if there are any in my area. I love watching you ladies every week. Would love to find an individual slash group to stitch with. Thank you so much for everything you do. 
So the so, town name is literally New Tampa. Yeah, New Tampa, Florida. I had never heard of this. I have not either. And it says it's, uh, I would say, on the outskirts of Big Tampa? <laughs> <laughs> Old Tampa? Old Tampa. <laughs> New Tampa. There you go. Okay. Looks like, uh, ooh, there's, does that say Lettuce Lake Park? Yep, it sure does. Probably. Lettuce Lake Park. Oh, you're like right by Good Bush Gardens. Oh, that's pretty Yeah, area. look where Bush I'm Garden. Told, I'm told. So the yeah. red, and yeah. then. Yeah. Cool. And the zoo. The zoo. I mean, yeah, so it's north of Tampa, like she said. So. Anybody in greater Tampa, holy cow. And there's Brandon. I We have customers in Brandon. We have customers in Valrico. We have customers in Land Lakes. Okay, so there's stitchers so, out there, Nicole. Yes. Okay, so let me just show everyone so you can see. Okay, just in case anyone is unfamiliar. Mm -hmm. This is Florida. Mm -hmm. Okay, we love that. Mm -hmm. Then on the West Coast, Midwest Coast is Tampa mm -hmm. and then see this red square looking situation that is new Tampa so it looks to be like just slightly northeast which is what you said yep so and there's a dinosaur world I'm sorry so listen listen so uh it looks like really, really fun over there. Mm -hmm. What was the town that she referenced that was ne it was near? Uh, near Pebble Creek. Okay. I don't know where Pebble Creek is, but that's great. Okay. And so, all right. So if your ears perked up because you live in around nearby within driving distance of New Tampa, Florida, and you have room in your stitching group or are looking for a stitching friend, then please comment on this video and say, Hi, Nicole. My name is, it's her name here. I live in around nearby within driving distance of New Tampa, Florida, and I would love to stitch with you. So, uh, and then it's up to you, Nicole, to read through the comments and uh, find someone that has reached out to you. Okay? That's right. Okay. And if you want to reach out to Nicole, you know, start your comment with, Hi, Nicole. That also is helpful. You know, yes. then she'll see it right away. Absolutely. So, New Tampa Stitchers, Stitchers Unite. Unite. Absolutely. Okay, okay. Pinky. That means it's time for Pam's Pin Comment. Pam's Pin Comment is, yes, you guessed it, my favorite comment of last week's video. Yes. After last week's Right. And this one comes to us from i'm going to say a lovely gal who goes by casey keller casey keller kohler yeah not I, sure i know that name k-o-e-h-l-e-r is that keller or kohler uh i don't know but i know that any wazy i'm gonna find it you are i mean keep talking but all right so this is what she wrote she said, Pam, I love your Monopoly finish, and if you missed my big mega finish last week, it was the Monopoly board. I had to run to my game cupboard and confirm that my Monopoly game board is the very same one you stitched, and there's an, an option for the center design. Mm. It has been my board since childhood, as it was for me. I'm a year older than you, and my kids and grandkids have played in this, on the same board. Thanks for the happy stroll down memory lane. I sure hope to get to see it along with your courage piece when I attend my first retreat, StitchCon Weekend B. Yes. I too am a survivor 15 years from bladder cancer. What roads we have traveled. Amen. So, anyway, and thank you for that lovely note. super active on Instagram. That's why I oh, at least... Do you know what her first name is? I don't. Okay, don't guess. But. Yeah. Um, but her Instagram handle is also Casey Kohler. Okay. And so I... I'm guessing now, and I think about it, it's Kohler. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. And um, she uh, always is interacting with my posts. Oh, so okay. that's how I know her, yeah. Cool. So I'm probably, super excited to meet I'm her. I'm probably a follower, and she follows me on Instagram. Too. Yeah, sure. Um, but anyway, uh, her great. first retreat, she's jumping in the deep end, folks. I she's love coming this. to StitchCon in June. Great. We cannot wait to meet you. And um, that yes. comment will be uh, 
has been I pinned to say. the top of all the comments from last week's video, many of which were congratulatory for my Monopoly board finish. Absolutely. And I thank you for those kind words. Absolutely. <clears throat> all right. All right. That, Ready? That means it's time for... Silver and gold, silver and gold, silver and gold, silver and gold. which is silver our uh, shout out section for other floss tubers that we would like you to go check out. Silver meaning the bright, shiny new ones, and yep. gold meaning the ones who more or less have been established on floss tube. And probably you already watched them, but just in case you uh, don't know about them. So, yeah. our first silver floss tube. Shout out goes to someone we've just found. Yes. And that is Lynn at Those Missing Stitches. Love those it. Missing Stitches. Yes. And Lynn lives in Northern California in the Sacramento area. She has um, no, just about uh, been a year on floss tube. She started yeah. in April of 23. Love it. Um, She's a multi-crafter, and boy, does she have some beautiful projects, mm -hmm. including full coverage, but not yeah. totally full coverage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a stitch nice counter. Variety. Yeah, she's a stitch counter. She uses Pattern Keeper, mm -hmm. and she always provides a very thorough information. Um, and um, as a matter of fact, she now has an Etsy shop full of her own dyed fabric gorgeous and many of her pieces that she shows are stitched on her own dyed fabric and That's so it's cool. beautiful and is the uh, shop name the those? shop is also called those missing stitches so uh, go check Ooh, out Lynn. she's got a bunch of stuff you she guys. works in a library uh, and so she uh, gravitates towards a lot of the same designs i do She's an avid reader and a bibliophile, as she says. Oh, so uh, we just love Lynn. Immediately subscribed the minute we found her. And as we mentioned before, from now until June, until StitchCon, we are going to be featuring floss tubers on silver and gold that are yep. coming to StitchCon this year. Absolutely. And there's a ton each weekend. So we thought this would be a good way to give you an idea of yeah. the folks that make floss tubes that are going to be at StitchCon and also to highlight some that uh, we uh, want to uh, direct you to yeah, that maybe sure. we haven't shouted out before. Many we have, but yeah. these are these are folks we haven't shouted out. Absolutely. Under gold, mm -hmm. um, we have an old, old friend of ours. Yes. Oh, my gosh. I've known my goodness. We've known her for years. A Abby at Top Knot. Yeah. And um, Abby has been making floss tubes for six years. And she's made um, 84 videos yep. in those six years. Uh, Abby is uh, just a delight and a um, a well-known online shop. I was going to say, I bet most of you know yes. her because yes. of her incredible online shop. Um, we started watching her way back when we first start, started uh, on Floss Tube. We, well, she started after us, didn't she? I'm not sure. I didn't check the month. Okay. Well, um, we've been doing it for seven. Okay. So, so, but she was one of the first ones that we gravitated and toward. I, and also, did you know that she, I think she's been to every stitch con? Because I know she uh, was at, have to check that. I know she was there in 2018, and I'm pretty sure she's come every year. So okay. All that's right. a feat in and of itself. Yeah, exactly. Because she lives in California. Right. So right. Well, there's two California girls. Yeah, right exactly. There. Yep. Um, and um, like I said, uh, I think you said that you have spoken to Abby mm -hmm. as a as a LNS to an ONS and. And one of the things that you appreciated about Abby's ONS mm -hmm. is that her market previews are presented so in such a well-organized way. Yeah. So if in anticipation of whatever market releases mm -hmm. uh, there are in whatever format in the fall or yeah. next year at Nashville, mm -hmm. uh, think of a uh, top knot stitcher as an ONS where you can see what right. is being released at Nashville. She yes. does a she does a dynamite job Absolutely. with that. Absolutely. Just and literally she's just incredible. She's just a peach. So um, 
Please. So it's been really fun. I yeah. just want to say it's been really yeah. fun because we've known her mm-hmm. since 2018 yeah. to just see the evolution of Abby and like right. how much she's grown oh, and yeah. like just her involvement in the community. And like, it's just been really, really great to watch. So yeah. I feel like her and I are in similar age brackets, right? Mm-hmm. So um, the trajectory of, of our position in the industry yeah. has been similar. So yeah. I just, it, I just really have a lot of like professional respect for what she mm-hmm. does, and Absolutely. and I just think that she's amazing. So yeah, um, yeah. But and her floss tubes but, are great uh, too, and she's a cat lady, and so you know, yeah, she's great. So between Lynn's online shop for fabric, yeah. and Top Knot, um, and you know, you've got two sure. two very accomplished female entrepreneurs in the industry that you need to support in and, California, where there's really not yeah a lot in, of, in California. Yeah. Brick and mortar yeah. needle workshops yeah. going on. So, Lynn and Abby hey. for this week for yes, Silver and Gold. Absolutely. All right. Let's talk about stitching, shall we? We shall. So, what have you been stitching on, Stephanie? Well, um, I haven't had a ton of stitching time, but that's okay. I, oh, don't call me there, needle. Um, but, what I have been working on has been Spring Moon. Just feels appropriate. This was one of my Whipco calls for the month of March. And so I still got a needle with thread in it. So, um, because I was working on it last night and then just went to bed. Okay. And I am using all of the called for threads with the called for fabric and the called for fabric is. 36 count baked clay from Fox and Rabbit. And I got the bunny in, you guys. Just in time for Easter. Look at him. Isn't he cute? Oh, I love him so much. Yeah. Really good. He's so cute. And um, there's some tulips underneath him. And so that's what I'm going to shoot to get done today. Um, because tomorrow's the 1st of April and there's new Whipco calls. So, um, we'll see if I put this away immediately or not, but I'm really, really enjoying it. So, um, looks great. It's been really, really fun to stitch. There you go. Is that better? Yeah. Really okay. Good. So, but I love him. The flowers are really fun. The blues are beautiful. It's just really, really great. So. I love this so much. Great. Yes. So that's literally all I've worked on this week. Sorry, I'm boring. But you well, know, you know who's that's not. why you've got only three open orders. Well, yeah, it, very true. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, I mean, it's a very good point. You know, you're gonna have one or the other. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's so. true. Very true. But you know who's not boring, Pam. <laughs> I so, don't Pam, know about that. what have you been doing with your <laughs> life over there? Well, this there? is the last day of March, as we all know, and um. So this was my last day to work on my second Whipco call, mm-hmm. which I have thoroughly enjoyed, but yes. we'll set aside for now. Yes. And that is from Blackbird 2014, Ladies Prim Society, originally, mm-hmm. and it's Salute to Abigail. And... I have been making significant progress on this. Mm, it's so good. I made it all the way across the top. Oh, all the way across the top. Thank you to uh, the Red Sox being on the West Coast. Yes. <laughs> meaning uh, very late nights. Very late, like past midnight. You know, so super late. Late nights. So this is where I am with Salute to Abigail. It's on the called for uh, okay. mink 30, 35, 36, 35, 36 mink. And uh, it's so gorgeous, Pamela. The thread gatherer uh, colors of silk. So uh, I was happy to come around the opposite corner and do those, it's do those so little pretty, white baby. pots. And then... Yeah. Um, the blue uh, plant. Oh, that's right here. The red and blue plant. Um, yeah. 
right no. there, right there. So pretty, Pam. Last night. So, yeah. um, that is it for this rotation for that project. Bye bye. For a bit. Bye bye. Bye bye, Abby. I also uh, made a I'm little sweating. bit more progress. I'm sweating. Why are you sweating? I don't know, but it's so hot. Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you either. Um, anyway, uh, got together again this week for... Anna Mondays with Tony. Mondays with Tony. And that is Anna Green Gables from the Stitching Book Club. It's going to look like that when it's complete. Yes. Did I hold it up long enough? Nope. Sorry. It's okay. That Ann just sitting in the sitting in the flowers, minding her own business. <laughs> so, uh, so a little bit more progress. I determined when I sat down that I would get this this blue section done at the very top, which yep. I did, mm -hmm. and then um, I had already put in Ellen Montgomery, mm -hmm. and I the started on the done. next uh, row of leaves. Yeah. Um, so Tony is down to Anne. Yeah, literally Anne has done. done quite a bit on me. No, she's not done, but she's very far ahead of me. Yes. Uh, and has done a lot on the side panel. Is so. Tony working on this outside of Mondays with Pam, or is she? I think maybe, but I don't uh, know. I know I am not. Right, that's what I, I was going to say. I need to, and I meant to. Sorry, Tony. Um, but in any event, right. that's where I am. Okay, great. So... Stitching Book Club yeah. is a great source of literary mm -hmm. themed designs. Absolutely. They've done Little Women and many others. So. Awesome. Did that. Yep, 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 yep. Um, also, I finished my monthly marker. No, that finishes, Pam. You gotta do. Oh, that's for... right. Do, do, do. I did that last week, didn't I? I know. What a silly head. <laughs> Just ran away out of nowhere. Oh, I finished this thing. I Whips did, first, I then. I never finish. do this by myself. Uh, we were talking about that the other day, Cap and I were. Yeah. So, not you, but both of our mothers. Love you, Debbie. I have a um, we. few, we have a few Thank unicorns, you. and someone stepped up and lent me one of them, we and it is called Voodoo Boy from oh. Haberdashery Designs. It looks like that. There it's is a washed a voodoo, out picture, but. There is a voodoo girl mm -hmm. as well, Yep. but she lent me this. I know, I was going to say, look at how cool this is. Like, look at that haberdashery designs. Yeah. That's yeah. so cool. Um, it called for some glow-in-the-dark Krynix. Oh, these, they're out of Spokane, Washington. Well, they were anyway. Well, I, I don't know if they're still, I don't think they're still. Designed. Oh, no, no, no. But um, it's from 20, 2007. Yeah, very old. Yeah. Um, but anyway, uh, it called for Krynix glow-in-the-darks. Mm. And I start as a purist. I may not end up as a purist, mm -mm. but I start as a purist. You have good intentions. So I'm shopping online for all of these glow-in-the-dark chronics. Mm -hmm. Yep. It was a waste of time and money. Yep. These things are impossible to work with, in my humble opinion. Yep. Now, I've had some people on the socials chime in and say... Use do wax. This, do that. Do this. Do use that. Use wax. Use a big needle. Yeah. Bloody, 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 blah. Ain't gonna do it. Nope. Just not gonna do it. No. Nope. First of all, I don't think I want to add any wax of any sort to my needlework. I know that people do it. So people it's, do it's their it, own, whatever. To but... each your own. But I'm not apt to add wax sure. to my thread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I did use a fairly large needle once I got going. What I ended up doing is getting the full pack of DMC light effects. Glow in the dark. Yeah. And they look like this. Yeah. I don't know that the other colors besides white glow in the dark. Yes, but, they all do. But I have a feeling they do. Yes. So that's what I'm stitching with. Yeah. I'm stitching on 
32 count, which is what it calls for in terms of size, mm -hmm. and in terms of the color for fabric, all it says on the leaflet is dark. <laughs> a lot of guidance, you know, a lot dark. of guidance. So I chose slate from Fabrics by Stephanie, Fabrics by Stephanie mm -hmm. and I got enough of that fabric mm -hmm. so that if by any chance someone raises their hand and offers to lend me mm -hmm. or I find on eBay sometime Voodoo Girl, they yeah. will match. Yep. Yep. And I started stitching after I gave up on the chronic, forget it, went to the DMC and just subbed them out and put the stitches in. I got down to and I, I wanted to do the border first. Yeah. Because makes sense. and I'm not usually a border first person, but, no, but it makes because sense. of all the little designs inside, I wanted to make mm -hmm. sure my border was correct before I started doing correct sort of the fun stuff. Yes. And um You wanna show the people the cross stitch? I got it in after two tries. It was like a ginger. On ginger. the second try. I got it in. <laughs> and the first try, Stephanie checked me and I was off on the number of stitches over the top of the head. Mm -hmm. And of course that made everything off. Right. But yesterday I got up and I said, I'm conquering this border too. Yes. And I was done by noon. You know, off and on. Yeah, you yesterday can see morning. Darker. The fabric is a bit here. Yeah. It's yeah. perfect fabric in my opinion. Yeah, it's perfect fabric for this. It's clearly dark. Yeah, yeah. And I do need special lighting and special magnification. Sure, sure, sure. Um, but um, and so you basically just subbed out the glow. You took the glow in the dark chronics mm -hmm. and instead are using yes the glow in the dark DMC and yes. are having a much better time. Correct. Yes. Got it. And cool. I, since this is a borrow, I will oh yeah keep at it yep. so that I can return it asap. Yep. And um, cool. I've made a working copy. Yep. That is the original, but. Uh, that will go back in a safe spot after the video. Yeah. And um, cool. I don't know how quickly I will actually get back to that and get it finished. But like FFO'd? You no, know? no. Just uh, stitched oh. so I can return the original oh, pattern oh. to the first. Oh, okay. 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 And then... Yeah, put your finish away. Thank you. Um... You're cruising. I, uh, oh, I meant to take this out. I am shooting to finish my Courage Here, you do it? Cell do it. so that I can have it FFO'd for StitchCon. Yeah. This is the Pam's Survival Cell um primary design yep. other people have used other designs to participate in the cell sure this marked my 30th anniversary of my breast cancer diagnosis note diagnosis yep in uh 1993 and so i started it at StitchCon last year because yes. i did get my diagnosis in june and um, so I want to have it finished. Uh, many people have chimed in who are coming to StitchCon and would like to see it completely finished. Yes. So it's I so pretty gorgeous. much stitch on this every day. Yep. But I was about ready to throw it across the room yesterday. Oh, my gosh. And I'll tell you why. <laughs> um, so this is what where I am. Oh. Okay. I love it. And the big... Diamond shaped yeah, motif closest to staff. This one right here yeah. was incredibly difficult to complete because it is it is not matchy matchy from side to side. Mm -hmm. And so there was some frogging and some swearing and <laughs> so forth and so on, but I got it done. And then down here, down here, yeah, is the beginning of this huge monstrosity. Oh right here. boy! And some of you that has, do that today. So, some of <laughs> this has already been frogged. 
But look, I mean, I'm right down in the bottom. Yeah, corner you're here. there. If Penny. I get if I get this done, I'm on like the bottom floor. Yeah, I'm, you are. I'm like you're in the basement, baby. I'm in the basement, baby. Yeah. So. <laughs> You know, I will be smelling a finish. So smelling it. Yeah. Smells so, like um, rose petals. I messaged Paula at the craft gallery and I said there are three pieces that I would like her framing to complement. Yeah. And they are my Wizard of Oz piece that I did for Stephanie with all the Brooks Books characters, mm -hmm. the Monopoly board, and Courage. And I said, right now I'm hurrying to finish Courage, but my target is to have them framed for the Bragg Table for StitchCon, both weekends, A and B. Mm -hmm. And of course she said, I got you. Obviously. I got you. I got you. So anyway, um, that is cool. great That's news. That's a plan. Not surprising news, but great news. And those will be the three pieces that I will have on the brag table. Yes, my own. Um, for uh, StitchCon. Yeah. And, that's great. I, you know, I am enjoying it. And when I look at the chart and see this yeah, big one really down like... here, uh, then, you know, it's it's just going to feel so great to be at the bottom of it. I hope that when you're stitching so... it that you're not just, like, so focused on getting it finished that no, you're no, not. No, no, no. I am enjoying it. I mean, it's and, just. And realizing the significance of it. Yeah. And. Okay. You know, and, and it does make you think about your cancer journey. It really, really I does. So. Because there are ups and downs. And there are smooth patches and there are rough patches. And sometimes you got a frog, you know? And sometimes you got a frog. Mm -hmm. But I think that um, I will be forever grateful for all of you who have joined me with this. Mm -hmm. And it does not mean that the journey ends in June. Right. Sure. Some of you have stitched for family members who are on their journey right now. Mm -hmm. And um, some of those journeys have ended. Mm -hmm. And so um, in a, in a, um, in the, not the way you'd hoped. Yeah. So um, it's been very meaningful and symbolic and yeah. um, I, I am enjoying it. So. And I will say that if you want to still join the Sally, oh, you absolutely. can. And um, there sure. are, um, copies of the Courage Cell on the Keepsakes website if you are interested in purchasing it. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so I that. think finally, finally, finally. Okay, hold on. I gotta put this keys knot back in here for you, okay? Yep. Just slide it in. Well, how else would I do it? I don't know. Just shove it in there? Okay. <clears throat> So those are our whips of the week. Yay. And now you can finally do what you've been trying to do for a half hour. Well, I haven't tried for a half hour. I tried about a half an hour ago. Yeah, like. that's what I meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, whoops. This just came off the zipper. Oops. That's right. It can be tied back on. <clears throat> anyway, um, monthly marker, which I started to show you a minute ago. <laughs> a little teaser. I am doing all of the... April snapshots from Pine Mountain Designs. Um, if you watch Brenda Handwork Maniac, you've seen hers, and she was more or less my inspiration to do these. Yes. Plus, we've been to um, Pine Needles out in Utah. Yep. And um, that was really smart to do it that way. Hey, you know what? I mean, I'm pretty sure I told you to, but either way, it was smart. You know, I, I have a few. A uh, few, um... What do you got, Pam? A few what? Brain cells still... Brain cooking? cells, that's what I was trying to think of. <laughs> wow. Brain, whoa, that was a struggle. Maybe not, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, just in time for tomorrow, yep. um, I got April done. And here it is. I just... These are precious... Just give me a second, Pam. <laughs> wow, the disappointment on your face for that? <laughs> Intentional. Yikes. Uh, these are super precious, but boy, there's a lot of colors. Yeah, it's so, so uh, pretty. But I love the um, the three bunnies. Don't you? Including the chocolate one. Oh, I love them. And I love the little fat bird in his nest. 
Yeah, and uh, the, uh, uh, the I assume it's a young woman with her big old galoshes and her umbrella. I like the, super cute angle. Yeah. You know, no face on the person. That's what but, I like the best about it. You know, just it, I very think. imaginative and yeah, it's just, just so cute. Yeah, so dang so, cute. So. Um, I'm really thrilled with that. and uh, Utilize your fabric, people. Utilize yeah, your fabric. Just, I don't know why I turned it, but maybe I just... Well, I was. I just thought... I, huh? Maybe you could have gotten three on them if you did them all this way. Maybe. But it doesn't really matter. Anyway. anyway. Um, so that's exciting. So then, um, when do you start the May one? Oh, I'll start kitting it up probably in the next week or so. Oh, do you have the May one in the bag? Do I? No. No. Oh. I want to see what it looks like. You can. And the people will see it probably by next video. Yeah, probably. probably. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Cool. But, Excellent. Uh, yeah. So, love that for you. Uh, that is what I'm doing as a little monthly project this year. And I love that, and I'm going to totally do it next year. Yeah, there are so many monthlies that you can do that, yeah. you know, just give you that sense of completion and the yes. finishing and yes. so forth. So, Happy, Happy finishes, finishes everyone. everyone. Oh, Kurt, oh, Kurt. All righty then. So, sorry, go zip this one up. Yep. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Very ready. Promotions. <laughs> Welcome to the Triple P. That's right. The promotional portion of the program. Right. We've got a biggie for you this week. Yes, folks. we do okay so this is the twin peak primitives pattern of the week yes and uh so if you are unfamiliar every week uh the twins at twin peak primitives and pam and i just keep stitching we get together we have a conversation and we talk about what we want the pattern of the week to be that is a pattern that is marked down by 20 percent sometimes we give them an idea sometimes they give us an idea and in this case this is a new release chart yes this is very exciting yes so um the it is one of their booklets. Their mm -hmm. booklets are so good. Mm -hmm. Um, so twenty percent discount off of that is great. Yes. Uh, and this is one that you haven't seen before. So, no. uh, the name of the pattern of the week this week is what, Pammy? Patriotic book. Oh. Twenty twenty four. Yes. So, um, what we typically do with the booklets when they're the patterns of the week is that, excuse me, we'll show you the cover. And then um, we'll do like a little slideshow yeah. after yeah. Um, to show you each of, the show you each of them individually. Right. So that I think is, there's like eight or nine. Something yeah, something like, like that. that. So, Gorgeous. Yes. So that is what we will do. So we will insert the Patriotic Book 2024 Slideshow Extraordinaire here. Yeah. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Yes, 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 yes. All right. So uh, if you yeah. would like to get your hands on a discounted copy of Patriotic Book 2024, then there are a couple places that you can do that. So a PDF version of the chart can be found at a discount at the Twin Peak Primitives website and Etsy shop. However, if you are a hard copy type of stitcher 
and that is the version that you would prefer, the place to get that hard copy of the discounted Patriotic Book 2024 is from the TPP Limited Editions Etsy. That's right. So, all of that is linked below. So, the links below take you to the platforms. So, to the Twin Peak website. You do have to search from there for the pattern of the week. Right. So, that just a heads up about and that. And the same goes for TPP Limited Editions Etsy as well. Correct. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it should be up at the forefront of the site. but It's always right at the top when it's the pattern of the week. Yes, ma'am. So, Diane does a great job. Yes, absolutely. Okay, okay, so that means it's time for mail call. call. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. So, uh, Monday, this didn't technically come in the mail, but on Monday of last week, um, we had a lovely, lovely woman come into the shop who is a keepsakes customer. <coughs> Excuse me. Obviously. And, uh, also a fan of her system. We love that. And her name is Mary, and she lives in Ohio. And look at this freaking cute card that Mary gave us. Love them. And the funny part was that I opened the card, and I looked at it, and I said, Oh, Pam, it's a picture of us. <laughs> and she was like, What? And I said, Look. <laughs> Obviously. Uh, and a very sweet note inside, so thank you so much for that, Mary. We appreciate you. And then she gave us some sweet Easter treats. Look how sweet these are. I just didn't want to tear them apart before I showed them on a video. I love, I'm assuming that these, yeah, milk, chocolate, caramel, pretzel, rods. Mm. Yummo. Mm. So, very excited about those. That'll be a happy Easter treat to me. Mm -hmm. And Pamela, thank mm -hmm. you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mary. Um, we got a lovely Easter card. From our good friend Ruth. I love it. So cute. Thanks, Ruth. Thank you so much, Ruth. Then, uh, this piece of mail came to Keepsakes mm -hmm. from Robin. Yep. And um, she um, sent us a very lovely, very long note, which was really lovely to yes, read. Very nice. Um, and so she is on YouTube as the generous stitcher, mm -hmm. just as a heads up, mm -hmm. but she sent, uh, two charts, mm -hmm. one for me and one for, uh, Pam. Mm -hmm. And this lovely one is called kangaroo Santa. Look at him. It is a mail hill kit with all of the stuffs inside. I love that. I think those, are so cute. So cute. So that's very sweet. Mm -hmm. And what she sent me? Uh, she sent me a, a design from the Elegant Thread called Liberty Lobster. Yeah. Isn't that cute? That's Love great. It. Yeah. Excellent. Perfect. So her name is, like I said, Robin, and she is uh, the generous stitcher on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So, and that name sounds accurate. Yes. So, excellent. Perfect. Okay. Thank okay. you yes. very much. Okay. Thank and you. then, okay. <laughs> what is happening over there? Is this, that plans? This is plans. Okay, okay, okay. Um, all right, so the next two things of mail. We obviously did not know that they were coming, and they did not speak to each other mm -hmm. about what they were sending us. Mm -mm. So, just a heads up about that, okay? And we... I, we, I appreciate all of it, all of it. Yes, yes. But as many floss tubers would tell you, um, you do not uh, always appreciate the, the impact of a very offhand comment. Yeah, like the, the littlest things that you say. The littlest thing that you say, a viewer may or may not pick up on that. Correct. And it may be something personal. Yeah. It may be something about our stitching experience. It may even be the any fact, number of things. Even the fact that there are people out there that know that my favorite color is red. Exactly. I don't exactly. know how do they know that because exactly. I've said it probably 67 times. So but. last week I showed what little progress I had I last week. It was week. two weeks, but either way. Oh, yeah, it was probably two yeah. weeks. I uh, was showing my progress on an Anne of Green Gables. Yes. And 
I think Stephanie said something about the, I thought, you don't have an Anne of Green Gables bag, mm -hmm. project bag. Mm -hmm. And I said, no, I don't. I said, Tony has one, and she does. Yep. That a bag maker made and sell, sold to her. Mm hmm And I said, but I have it in this bag, and it's perfectly fine. Yeah. And, and then we moved on with the video. I didn't think anything of that Correct. back and forth Correct. at all. <laughs> And then we got two packages this week. <laughs> so we got two packages in the mail. And so this first one is from our friend Cheryl. Yes, Cheryl. She has an Etsy shop called Sean Dolls. Yes. And she lives in Maine. We've met her at the New England retreats that we've gone to. Yes. Particularly the farm. Yep. Yep. Right. And um, so this so is what she, she sent, sent me a message. And she said... I would like, can you remind me of your address? I'd like to send you a little something from Maine. Well, that could be anything. Sure. That could be a pine cone. That could be, that could <laughs> Just be one single a pine stuffed cone. seagull. That could oh, be. Oh, my. Please don't send a <laughs> single pine cone or a stuffed seagull. Please do not do that. For the love of all things holy. And there were two project bags mm -hmm. in this package from yes. Cheryl. And one of them was... An Anne of Green Gables bag. Mm -hmm. And this is what she did. Isn't so that pretty? pretty? Mm -hmm. It's got this purple and green, which I happen to love that color combo. Mm -hmm. um, and she repeated it on the inside, mm -hmm. which is lovely. The zipper pull has a little pair of scissors and a little Sean Dolls. Mm -hmm. uh, tag and then of course her little label says handmade in Maine Shondells and I just love it it's Cheryl. beautiful I just love it it's beautiful so um, I'll show the back too she just picked right up on that comment Isn't that and crazy? said your Anna Green Gables needs its own bag yes and then uh, she didn't leave me out which was very very sweet of her and this is the bag she made for me. Look at these bunnies. Cute. I mean, have you ever seen a set of cuter bunnies? Don't think so. Nope. So freaking cute. And I love this dark green here too. And that is the back. And then she used the dark green on the inside as well. Oh, I love it. It's very, very, very rich. I Thank love you very, this. very much, Cheryl. It yes. was very sweet, and I love your little label. Yes, I love, love, absolutely. Love so, so cute. Yes. And then, um, I think we actually received the, what we're going to show second, doesn't technically matter. first, but it doesn't really matter. But um, then we got a package from Jess at Como Stitches. Mm -hmm. Now... A package from Jess at Como Stitches is not a rarity at this house. No. Okay? Just not. No. Um, we get one We are happy often, customers. Often. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, when I saw the package in the mailbox, mm -hmm. I just assumed that it was something I purchased. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but it wasn't. So, um, she just sent us two project bags as a gift. And... Anyway, so this is the project bag that she sent for me, which I'd been eyeing anyway. So that's cute. Look how cute this is. I I said immediately said to Pam, I'm putting all of my tiny towns in this bag. Yeah, absolutely. it's so 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 Such good. Pretty fabric. Yes, I love the mm -hmm. top fabric too, mm -hmm. and oh, <laughs> and of course that is the mm -hmm. inside fabric Beautiful. and all the red on the back. Oh, yeah, and. And see, and she said, Steph, I thought you'd like a bag in your favorite color. What? What? I love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jess. And also, what did she send for you, Pam? Also in the package from Jess, that Como, mm -hmm. was an Anne of Green Gables bag. <laughs> so good. But, and one thing I said... Was that it's so this line must be new. I mean, we're not quilters, obviously, but mm -hmm. I think that there was like it must be relatively new because I even saw another maker today post a, a new project bag. It's patchwork, but it's a project bag with this same line. Yeah, because I don't know. this fabric that Jess made, show Jess's again. Mm -hmm. 
So this fabric is the green yeah. partner to this one. Don't so know. it's all part of the same line. And yep. so, it, you know, it's just it's wild. Just, you know, me. I love it. Beautiful, oh. beautiful, oh, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I love it. And again, Ugh, because so Pam needs an Anne of Green Gables bag. I mean, it's not, they're not so, wrong. You know, and I have more than one Anna Green Gables cross stitch pattern. Absolutely. Absolutely. Like yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. Um, so, anyway, uh, thank you, Jess. So, excuses to kit those up and. And absolutely, and give them a home. Absolutely. The one from the little stitcher. Yes. Is the next Anna Green Gables one that you And need it to features um, more than the Stitching Book Club design, yeah, it, it features, features the, the house. house. Yeah. Which looks very similar to this right here. <laughs> well, White that is the, the house. Green. And, uh, you know, and I've been up there. Yeah. We, we've toured uh, mm -hmm. the kids and my folks in 2000. We went out to PEI and we yeah. toured the house and grounds and barn and everything. Amazing. So it has special, special significance and sure. deserves two project bags. I mean, does it not? So thank you both, uh, ladies, yes. for um, listening to us. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and taking notes. Yes. So anyway, it was kind of so like a... Kind of thing when we opened the mail yeah. this week. I was like, oh, that is so good. Yeah. Okay. So that is all that the mail That is the call. mail call. Okay. Love that. So now we will do haul. Mm -hmm. And obviously Pam does not have any of that because mm -mm. she's oh. been very well behaved. Mm -hmm. But. Finally, um, finally, finally. Yep. Finally, finally, finally. The 2024 Prairie Schooler Santa arrived at Keepsakes, so that's great. He's been on a diet while we've been waiting, clearly. I mean, just that's he's a cinched. Yeah, that's he's a, a slim Santa, waist. if you ask me. I love it. Yeah. And he's got a space between his thighs, which is impressive, because I don't. <laughs> so that's good. <laughs> so. Yeah. Uh, okay, and then um, we also got, okay, so side note. For market orders at Keepsakes, we are still the, I don't, I think I boxed myself in last week by saying the only thing that we're waiting on, but the largest thing that we are still waiting on is our order from Cottage Garden Threads. Mm. Now keep in mind, they're in Australia. Yeah. So that is why. Yeah. It's taking so long. There are like a couple rando things here and there that we're still waiting on, whatever, whatever, but... By and large, if you are waiting for your market order, it's because you ordered something with Cottage Garden Threads, and those have yet to come. We have paid for them. They have shipped. So Oh, so it's just a matter of... It's just a matter of time, but yeah. we got to wait it out. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, once it... Like, once we get notification that it's hit, like, Customs or New York or where, where Chicago, wherever it's coming in through, yeah. uh, then it will just matter of days, you know? Yeah. So, um, so... That was, I meant to update you all on that earlier and I forgot. Okay. Anyway, back to haul. So then this is, um, I'm not, I don't have all of these in this series, but I obviously had to get this one. This is the Houses on Wisteria Lane from Pansy Patch Quilts and Stitchery. And this is Foxglove House. Pretty. I just really love the colors. And then mm -hmm. obviously there's a fox. So had to get it. Mm -hmm. Super, super, super cute. Mm -hmm. And then this is the, um, Again, I'm not getting all of them, but I really like this one. This is the Fabulous House series from Cottage Garden Samplings. Uh, and this is number four, The Cottage. Something tells me that's going to be absolutely stunning stitched up. I think so, too. Between the green roof and the pink flowers. I love the birds on the top. Mm -hmm. I love the vines. I don't know. It's really, really pretty, I think. Mm -hmm. So, that one. Uh, and then this is new from the Scarlet House. This is uh, called A Stitcher's Alphabet. So, love that. Very, very cute. That would make a really great smalls exchange. Mm -hmm. Just saying. Mm -hmm. So, that is all of the haul. Um, Add to cart. Okay. Okay. Um, we want to thank... Yes. Those of you who contributed to our Buy Me a Coffee, our Kofi links, and yes. those funds are set aside to use for framing, finishing, and postage expenses. Yep. So they will go directly toward those three huge pieces I hope to get framed before yes. Stitchcon. Absolutely. 
So we want to thank Christine. Thank you, Christine. Alice. Thank you so much, Alice. And Jana. Thank you, Jana. Yes. So uh, if you feel so inclined, um, that is one way you can um, help us out. And uh, the use of those funds is turned right back into content on this channel. Absolutely. So, yes, ma'am. Um, we thank you for that. Awesome. Um, under plans, of course, this is the last. Pile over here for plans. I have a lot of plans. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, this is the last day of March, as we all know, and um, so that makes me turn toward the future. Um, that makes me. It's the last day of March, and that makes me turn towards the future. All right. Just I take love it, it. Take it out. Edit it nope, out. Nope. I'm not. I would never do that. Um, the. Two projects that I will be working on for WIPCO for April. Okay. One is a hopefully finish. Woo! And that is... Oh, that will be amazing. I love is this, this one. So... Picture? Oh, well, it is all of the fragments in time from Beth at Summer House um, from 2021, which was Tales from the Sea. Yeah, the nautical ones. were all ones. these nautical ones. Yes, so good. And, boy, I haven't worked on this in a long no, time. No, you have not. I've forgotten about it, to be fair. So, I will get back to this. I'm also doing her border. Oh. I have six of the eight squares done. So, I only have two squares left. So, I mean, this is where I am on. as of the 31st of March. I mean, sorry about the crease. Yeah, sorry. But, oh well. Um, so, um, I will be working on that. Oh, I can't wait for you to finish that, Pam. And so, all you have left to do is this and this, right? <laughs> yes. Oh, baby. This is my favorite one. I'm not sure which one goes where, but. This is seven. This is eight. Oh, they go in the, or the numerical order. Yeah. Then. Yep. I think so. So, that will be pulled That is out. a thrill. Isn't that a thrill? I'm excited because I really, really I love am. that. I, so the excited. colors on that are gorgeous. The next one that I will get back to will be a very long-term project. Okay. A little bit of background if you care. Oh, even if you don't care, you're going to hear about it. This is from um, uh, Paulette Stewart, Plum Street Samplers. And um, this piece was uh, stitched by one of um, Barbara Hills's um, long time customers. Mm -hmm. uh, she has passed away. <clears throat> She's been gone several years, but mm -hmm. she was a serial starter. And uh, so, anyway, she did Nantucket Girl Sampler from Plum Street, and it hung over the uh, fireplace when you first walk into Keepsakes for years, mm -hmm. I'm going to say. Yeah. Um, and so, if we still have the for model. a long time. So, here. this is what the pattern looks like. Mm hmm. So cute. It's huge. Yep, ginormous. I love the verse. If you want to Google it, um, go for it. It's hysterically funny. And it's also hysterically funny that literally this is all I have done on it. You don't need to see the rest of the fabric. Um, I'm doing it on 32 count alabaster from Xtude. And because it really doesn't have a border, I decided to go down the left side mm -hmm. and come across this way. And yeah. who knows what direction I'll head in. I don't even know. Who knows? So And you're using this, all the silks, right? Yep. Yes. Yeah, because I kitted it up. You kitted it up for mm -hmm. me for something. Christmas. Christmas, probably. And it's been a long time. So I'm hoping. I usually yeah. divide the month in half. This will be and great. And I'm going to start with fragments. And work on it for two weeks, and I think I'll finish fragments. Um, oh gosh, yeah. In two weeks, probably in a week. Yeah. And then the rest of the month will be devoted to uh, Nantucket Girl, and that's exciting. Um, that is what my whip go for April will look like. Mm -hmm. um, someone sent me a message somewhere on the socials, and they said that. Um, Prairie Schooler number 85 had five different designs in it. Um, number 85 was called More Friends. Mm -hmm. There was Friends, and then there were More Friends. Yep, which we And love. one of the five designs in More Friends is a cute little design 
that actually says uh, make new friends uh, for one is silver and the other gold yeah I think it's actually the opposite line yeah so it goes around the edges make new friends but keep the, the old for one, one is, is silver, silver the other is gold yeah I, don't, I, I might move them around because that doesn't I, really make I don't sense know, but this is the one that we're talking here. about right here and they I said well and we found it in our stash mm -hmm. and I said to her the woman who sent it sent me the message and I said um, I think I need to stitch that don't you and she yes. said yeah I think you do yes so I that's should. in my plans yes and then lastly no not lastly um another couple of <laughs> this is so random loans um, that will be dealt with very soon because I push those ahead of everything else because they're on loan. This is the companion to the Merry Christmas pillow that I stitched. I haven't made it into a pillow yet, but I stitched the design from Abby Rose. And she said, did I have this one? And I said, I'd never seen it before. And she said, well, I'll happily loan it to you. And it's called Tis the Season. And it's got companion to the Merry Christmas pillow. So the rusty jingle bell and everything. Yes. Wait. That, <clears throat> I don't want you to show her address. Oh, oh, sorry. sorry. And so I said to Steph, I said, well, I, I want to stitch it on the same fabric I stitched the other one on, which was um, PTP Oaken. And um, so I ordered some PTP Oaken. This was my only haul um, from one to three because I knew they'd have it. <laughs> And it's not the same hue, so I'm kind of bummed. But um, I like the I like the style of the modeling of yes. of it, and so I will be oh. stitching oh, well. this one on you know, that piece of. You open. have enough there that you could restitch the other one. Oh, I'm not going to do that. No, and someone has lent me um, <clears throat> another unicorn of mine um, from Birds of a Feather. This is called Memories of Christmas. So that's another loan. And um, and it has um, each one has four little gold stars on the corners. And I asked the lender if she wanted me to um, preserve those to return to her, and she said, "No, you can have them." Whoa! I was shocked. That's amazing. And thrilled. Yeah, that's great. Um, not that I couldn't have found replacements, no. but um, so. Those will be kitted up real soon. Lastly, what is, is she just Vanessa something, Vanessa oh, on Instagram? Flame, flame, flame finger. Fingers on Instagram. I bet many of you follow her. She and I, I think are sisters from different mothers. Sisters and, from another mister? Well, I don't, I don't know. That's the phrase. Okay. She pulled this out to work on it. And if you don't follow Flame Fingers on Instagram, you need to. Vanessa, she's so good. She is an exquisite stitcher. Mm -hmm. And um, she has this chart and it says home port. And it's just this big part here. Okay. And yeah. And it's from the chart. The sewing chest of Sarah Elliott. Sarah Elliott. And it's the sewing chest of Nantucket Sister, Sister Sailor. Sailor, Sarah Elliott. And I was gifted a long time ago from our friend Mary the box, this chest, all the accoutrements. There's a little journal book, there's a little mm -hmm. piece of whalebone. Mm hmm. And so I was kidding with her because we enable each other just about every two or three days with what we post. And so she, in fact, after I showed the Abbey Rose Merry Christmas, mm -hmm. she found other Abbey Roses that were more on a patriotic uh, style. And she said something like, you are the enabler of the millennium or some oh foolishness. And uh, so she, right back at me, she uh, showed this. And I don't know if you can tell, but 
this water is checkerboard here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's amazing. And she's got most of that part done. Yeah. So it calls for Morning Dove by Lakeside, mm -hmm. which I'm not going to uh, uh, run around hunting for. But I did find what I think is going to be perfect. Mm -hmm. And it's called, appropriately, New England Gray right. from uh, LFA Linens. Mm -hmm. That's Treehouse. Mm -hmm. And it's going to go on there. So I think I'm going to take this and... Um, uh, grab the threads I don't already have and uh, start that and let's see when's your first 24 start in 24 that's what I was just thinking of it's, it's April 6th okay. so what's that that's uh, the day we go to Lisa's Saturday. Um, Saturday and it is a uh, Scottish themed design for Tartan Day cool. so it's from Ink Circles I'm really excited about it so that's my next 24 in 2024 start. Mm -hmm. So lots of things in the works, lots of things that yeah. are calling to me. And um, like I just mentioned, we're going to Crock-Pot again at least it's on Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, and we're looking forward to that. Yep. Uh, so I think that's about it. That is it. All right. So uh, have a good rest of your Easter. Yeah. Um, they also call Monday, Easter Monday, and I'm not sure what the significance of that is, but no if idea. that's important to you, we hope that's nice great. as well. Have a great Easter um, Monday. And um, someone just tells just me that's great British. Month. I don't know why, but um, you'll tell me, won't you? Yeah. Um, and we hope you have a good week. Enjoy all the spring to summer stitching that you may be uh, looking at. Um, Easter or, Monday is a Christian holiday that takes place the day after Easter Sunday. It is the second day of Eastertide in Christian traditions and is a public holiday in some countries, including and lists a bunch of other countries. Oh, okay. Is England one of the countries? <clears throat> um, I, uh, no. And it it's not, not widely celebrated in the United States. It is not. But no, no, anyway. No, no. Uh, it's... Prominent mostly in Catholic circles. Oh, okay. So okay. there you go. Yeah. The Bible does not say anything about what happened on Easter Monday. Right. right. So there you go. Yeah. There you go. All right. So um, have right. a great week. Yep. Enjoy your stitching. And we'll see you back here in a week. Yes, It'll we will. It'll be April, folks. It will be. Are you ready? I am. In the meantime, I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this is Just, Just Keep, Keep Stitching. Bye. Bye.